Welcome back to the vlog, you guys. We have a new addition to our family. What's what's his name? That's Skeleton. His name Bones? No. They are pretty obsessed with him. All right, we have two new additions. What's his name? Ghost. His name is Ghost. Oh, what's wrong, Link? Scary? Updates for y'all. We are on round two of potty training, you guys. Day three, round two. I am not potty training or even attempting to do Link in this time. I've made some changes and I am just focusing on the girls this time because they are ready. Where Lincoln, I know he needs a few more months before he's gonna be ready. Are you a big girl? Do you guys go pee pee in the potty? No. Do, do you go pee pee in the potty? Cause they are big girls. They're doing pretty good though. They're not doing too bad. Lincoln made some progress before he wouldn't even sit on the toilet. But now he's like, I give him a little treat. They get like the mini M&Ms. <laughs> one little mini M&M for going. So he didn't go, but the fact he sat on the toilet is a big plus for him. <laughs> this little mama's boy, huh? Oh, you kissed the ghost? That's so Whoa. nice. Whoa, dude. Yeah. It's big, yeah. Ah! Oh, he ate your finger, say ouch. Another update, we recently dropped nap time, which I don't know, maybe I'll go back to that if they seem like they're not handling it well, but this will be day four, I think, of no nap, just because every time I'd put them down, they wouldn't really nap, and they'd fall asleep like an hour later, and then by the time they woke up, it was like five or six, and then they're not gonna go to bed at eight, their bedtime, because that's only three hours awake. So that's what we've been doing now, is trying to put them down to bed around like 7.30. So it's just like an hour earlier, because they'd go to bed around like 8.30 before. But sometimes, like last night, they were so cute. How to keep them up, because they were getting along so well. But they're doing pretty good with it. It's always, always whoa, you guys. He's go time out. Did he hurt you? Okay, let's put him in time out. Okay, go put him in time out, Lincoln. Underwear everywhere, you guys. Carpet's pulled up. We removed that carpet. Plastic wrap for them to sit on. You know, we're potty training mode. Here. Oh, we don't scream. It used to be the girls that would always scream, but now it's Lincoln. He picked it up and the girls now, they don't scream too much, but he's got the best scream of all of them. This is still Lincoln's favorite spot, sitting in a chair at the table eating food. What? Skeleton? Skeleton fall down? Oh, he did. Sit by you? Okay, we'll let him sit by you. So this is the timer that I have set to go off every like 50 minutes for them today. And it'll start beeping and they know when it beeps, it's potty time, huh? Right? <laughs> right. Look how cute this picture is. They were so little. And then Emery, she's got a little chart of things she can do to earn prizes also so she doesn't feel left out. <laughs> no, no, that's mine. <laughs> Uh, that's not good. My caffeine, not for not for you guys. I went downstairs to find Zoe's sippy cup and got a hold of some Dr. Pepper. Nope, just lift it up. The part is they want to take their underwear completely off every single time. They're so funny. They always say, no, go out of here. So I have to always go out and close the door. Funny, because when it comes to my privacy, I can't say that. Cut them. Get out of here. Yeah. Is their little potty charts they get to put a sticker on each time they go potty. Yes, Lincoln has a unicorn one because I didn't think he was gonna even wanna like try anything, but he wants to be like them. So I'm letting him do the same as them. Oh, Zoe, that's actually really good. Zoe is our little organizer. She was at nursery the other week. They said, which one of the girls 
did this and they had like a picture and there was a whole like line of cars lined up every single car they had in the nursery and she had lined them all up organized them and i instantly knew like i didn't even have to see a picture i knew that was zoe because zoe likes to organize things zoe what are you making you're making a castle what are you making lex about Lexi is she is our perfectionist so like on the star chart over there for going potty she has to have it exactly on the star outline or else she rips it off and wants to start all over like she has to have it perfect so that's why she's not building anything because she wants me to do it so that it's perfect and Lincoln he just likes to do his own thing chill oh oh good job yay Go, Lincoln, go. High five. Ah. Pound it. High five. Ah. Pound it. Ah. Ah. Boom. Ah. Look at this handsome boy. Oh, he's a cute boy. Look at that boy. Say hi, Lincoln. Uh -huh. Say hi, Lincoln. Hi. Hi. You want to blow him a kiss? Guys. Blow Lincoln a kiss. Oh, and you can walk on it? Wow, Zo! We're gonna come up with all these indoor activities for them so that we don't have to leave the house while we're potty training. What? Oh, it's going to disaster. I brought these cars out and they're building little tunnels over the track, but she just crashed it and now all the cars are going everywhere. I know, I'll get it. Learn with triplets is you have to buy like double of all the stuff you're getting or triple to make it large enough to let them all play without fighting. They still fight though. But this is like three different tracks that we've connected. So it's huge. The magnets are like three different magnets. So then they can all just have fun and play together. This is like a fun toy for adults too though. Ah! Little lunch break time. Are you guys eating? For once, Lincoln doesn't want to eat. Lincoln, you want to eat? Yeah. No! Too much fun with cars. Whoa. Is it cool? Whoa. So cool. I'm like peeing outside while eating food. Here's Zoe again, lining up her cars. Wow, Zoe. Lincoln's finally eating. How's your food? You like it? Oh, good. Good job, Lex. You ate your whole sandwich. Playing cars. Hey, what are you guys doing? Get in your car. We're going to Gaga's house. Let's go, Gaga's. Lincoln, you want to play with us? You want to play with us? He doesn't want to. Excited. The girls both just went poop on the potty. They have gone poop in the potty all three days since I started, which is amazing because that's the worst to change when they have that accident. But they've gone poop in the potty every time. I've done prizes for when they go poop. Mini Elsa doll and they really wanted that and were so excited. So I think that also helped. And then Lincoln, he wanted one of their prizes. He has the coolest boy prizes, the coolest things. I got him such cool toys, but he wanted to try to get a prize. So he sat on the toilet for a good like 10 minutes. And I've noticed one big thing that really, really helps with the girls is they can't be in there at the same time. So it has to be one at a time. I put them in there, shut the door so they have the privacy and oh. it helps them to just like concentrate, I think, if no one's in there. But you have to kind of stay out there so you know what they're doing. 
and make sure they're actually just sitting on the toilet. But I usually crack the door so I can see. Both go out at the same time. They just laugh and play and neither of them go pee or poop. So that has been a big plus for potty training. Lincoln, when I put him in there, I tried to do the same thing and close the door. He did good at first and just sat there. So I left him for a little bit and went to help one of the other girls while he's sitting on the toilet. Went back in there. He had his pants in the toilet next to the little toilet, had them soaked and his pull up in there soaked and taking them out. So don't leave Lincoln alone. Can you show me your prize that you got for going poop? What did you get for going poop in the potty? They got this little Elsa. Which one did you get? Mm. And she got this little Elsa one. I got the Elsa one. It's so sweet. Well, I usually show them the prize before because I know they usually go poop around like noon. So I show them and I say, do you want a prize? If you go poop, then you get this. And they've gone every single day. And then it's also a plus because they have a toy to play with like the rest of the day, a little toy. They're just cheap little toys. Nothing grand, but it's something they want and look forward to. But then I also feel bad because Lincoln. So for him, he doesn't have to go poop. If he just goes potty on the toilet once, I will give him a prize, praise him, share him on like crazy. Oh, she needs to go poop in the potty. Good. Did she do it? Say yay, Elsa. She gets a toy? Ooh. It's so cute how they play pretend now because they play pretend like how our actual life goes. So they're focused on potty training right now and they get a toy if they go poop. So now they're saying that with their Elsa. She did it. She did it. Woohoo. I How amazing is this? They're all actually just playing and playing really good together and being quiet. My kind of day. Much better than yesterday and the day before. Look who we got back home. This is Emmy's best friend, right? What's his name? What do you want to name him? Skelety. Skelety. That's a good name, actually. What happened? Let me see your face, so. Oh, what did you do? What did Zoe do? You want to so, so make up Emmy room? She got makeup in Emmy's room, did you, Zoe? Did you get in makeup, Lex? So, so I make up Emmy room. Yeah, but did you get in the makeup? So, so I make up my Emmy room. Yeah, did you did you get in Emmy's makeup? No, I make a mess. You made a mess. Uh oh, girls, hey. We don't get in Emmy's makeup, okay? We don't go in Emmy's room, okay? Like I said, the skeleton goes everywhere. The reason we got the skeleton in the first place is our neighbors have two skeletons on their doorstep and the triplets would always wave and want to go see it and touch it. And I'm like, that's not our house. We can't always go over there and touch it. So it's like, we'll get our own so they can have one to play with themselves. <laughs> what happened here, dear? <laughs> oh, man. That is it for today. Thank you for following along, for your support, your love. We love you guys. See you guys next time.